bro. Feel like this on my main channel, but here we are, man. Here we are. Let's do this. Let's do this. As a lot of you know, I posted a video on my second channel called Giving My Life Back to Christ. And in that video, I was giving you guys my testimony about how I was wanting to stop being lukewarm and just truly give my life over to Christ. And not only did it send shockwaves to the Christian community, but it sent shockwaves through just the entire Internet, man. You know, I've been off of social media. But, you know, I have seen some clips and stuff and like just seeing the reaction that it's had in such a positive light. Like, man, it's just a blessing. You know, Take God care. is good. God Take is good. Especially. I believe there's a man up there that's looking out for me. Somebody got me. I believe in God. I'm not really church, church religious because I feel like the church is like a uh, like churches aren't as authentic as they make it out be. You feel me? I've had bad like experiences with like churches, but. I believe in God. I believe there's somebody out there. You feel me? Knowing me, you know, whenever I'm in the news, it's usually for, you know, something crazy. But I think me being in the news for something like this is just one of the best things ever, man. And um, I'm just so blessed that God can use my testimony to touch so many of you guys. But I feel like the video left a lot more questions than answers. Um, I've had a lot of you guys message me and even a lot of you guys come up to me in public, you know, asking me, you know, are you still gonna be doing prank videos? Are you gonna still be doing your same type of content but keeping Jesus first? Or are you gonna be quitting YouTube entirely, you know? And so I'm um, coming on this video to answer all questions questions and clear up any doubts or speculations man so i think you guys he's on his uh 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 what's that nickname the swag god what's not not so so is not really religious as he is spiritual young don the sauce god there you go he on his young dot timing I know where this is going, so let's just make sure Cry Dion doesn't come out. Uh, yeah, man, I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say for you guys. Me starting this channel and really doing YouTube back in February of 2019, you guys have seen me go from a young teenager with a hairline <laughs> to a young adult without a hairline. And, you know, you guys just seen me grow as a content creator. When was the last time you talked to Gideon? Dream gone. Creator, as a storyteller, as an entertainer, has been nothing short of just a miracle, man. And I am so, so thankful for all you guys for joining in this journey with me. And even when I first began, I always had this chip on my shoulder where I could see the vision and I could see me being one of the top entertainers on YouTube. But um, looking back on it, I was really selfish, man, because... I wasn't the only one that saw that vision. My team from Vito to Hersey to Blazin to Matthew to Lauren to Dirty Dan, then to my friends, you know, JV, Frankie, all the way to my parents, you know, like they saw the vision too. And not only them, but you guys saw the vision, man. I mean, every single one of you that would subscribe yeah, like share comment you know a lot of you a lot of reason the channel grew so much is it was the word of mouth man i've had some of you guys come up to me and tell me yo one of my homies put you on me onto you oh bro my homie sent me one of your videos and it was just word of mouth because the videos resonated with you guys so much that you just had to share it with somebody and you guys have put as much work into this channel as i've have and so not only did I do this, but we did this, man. We did this as a team because we are community, bro. Like there's not any prank channel out there on YouTube that has the type of community that we have and we built in such a short amount of time. So I truly want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for helping me build this because it wasn't just me. I've had a lot of help. Millions of people helped me build this. And Can I want to thank yeah, every single one of you. Not only have you guys changed the course of my life, but you've changed the course of my family's life. I mean, this house right here that I'm recording this in, I literally just bought this house. And it's just all thanks to you guys, you know? I was just able to buy my mom her dream car. I'm able to take care of my family, my entire family. And I'm able to do all these things because you guys invested in me, because you guys trusted me. You guys trusted me, and you guys put your all into me, man. And 
I can't say thank you enough. I really can't. And I know my family can't say thank you enough either to you guys either because you guys truly changed my life. And some of you guys might have seen my mom and dad out in public. And every time my mom and dad see a young person, they always ask them, yo, do you guys know who Jadeon is? And if they say, yeah, my mom and dad, they call me right away. And if you guys ever got a call with me from my parents, man, put it down in the comment section below. And uh, I know my parents are just as appreciative as I am because they see you guys as family too, nah, man. W parents, W parents. They truly do. I've been wrestling with my faith for the last couple of years. I'm not going to lie. Um, I kept on putting the world's needs and wants and my own needs and wants above God's love and God's commandments. You know, I didn't want to turn my life to God because I was scared. I was scared of what the world would think, you know, uh, I'm not going to be as popular talking about God. Uh, you know, if I follow Jesus, I'm not going to be able to do certain things in my videos. And I was being so selfish. I was more concerned with my worldly desires instead of my spiritual desires when Christ tells us to What's be up, born Constant? again. And I, I was really rejecting the faith. I was really rejecting the gospel because I didn't want to lose my life. There's a verse in the Bible that I feel really pertain to me. It's in Mark chapter eight. For whoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Like this verse speaks to me so much because I didn't want to lose my life, you know? I really looked at what I had in my life as being of greater value than what Jesus has to offer in my life. And looking back on it, that was a lie from Satan, you know, because anything that we have in this world, we cannot take it with us when we die. If I TK, died right now, the YouTube channel wouldn't be mine. Everything I own right now no. wouldn't be mine anymore. It would be I'm not afraid of death. I'm afraid of a life not lived. You can't control when you die. Nobody knows when they're going to die, bro. You're in a line. You don't know who's in front of you and who's behind you. But every time somebody die, that line get a little shorter. You feel me? So there hasn't been a human in this world who hasn't died, bro. So ain't no point in being afraid of death. It comes to us all, man. You can't control or know when it's coming. So you just got to live your life to the fullest, man. Make sure that you tell your loved ones you love them. Make sure that you enjoy the people that you're around and make the most of your moments possession of the earth it was it, it i couldn't take this with me but the only thing i can take with me is my salvation and believing in jesus christ and following him and following his commands the love of the world made it okay in my mind to continue living in sin because i felt accepted i felt welcomed i felt loved but the love of the world is only temporary but god's love is everlasting and will never cease and will never fail you and so if anybody's having a struggle like this where you're putting the world against God's love, man, really look at it. And I'm telling you, the pros and cons list, the cons of leaving the world is going to outweigh the pros of being with God. But having an everlasting life will always outweigh anything the world has to offer. And I promise you, when you really pray and hearken on it, it's not a hard decision. I feel like a lot of people are say they're not afraid of death till it comes and real fear comes out. But even then, I don't think that's fear of death. That's fear of the unknown, bro. Nobody knows what's after death. So, of course, you feel me? You're going to be nervous and a little scared of what's going to happen. You feel me? But the moment you accept that, hey, I'm going to die. And then somebody else going to die and somebody else going to die. And it's going to keep going. And until the end of the time, people are going to die. Things are going to die. That's part of life, bro. That's what it is. Rinse and repeat. Things die, things are reborn. You just, a, you feel me? I feel like the problem that people have is they think they are the universe. So you think once your life ends, that shit stops. No, it doesn't stop. It keeps going, bro. Are you afraid of the way you go out? I don't want to. I don't want to die in no like painful, gruesome ass way. But end of the day, man, life is life. Bro. I was put in the How world. God decided to take me off everything. the surface. How you decided to take me? I was off the putting surface. my own heart's desires before everything that Jesus was commanding me to do. And in Matthew chapter six, it says, no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other, 
or else he will hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. And that's exactly what was happening, man. I was loving money and despising God. I would serve fame, fortune, clout, status over serving the most high God. And that was truly what was happening. Fast forward, you know, if you guys see my testimony, you would know why I made my choice and how that all happened. But if you haven't seen it yet, I'll link down to the description below so you guys can uh, watch those. Um, but I'm just trying to save you guys some time, man. You, you know, I'm not up, right? trying to speak Japanese right now. I'm just <laughs> trying to get this message across to you guys real quick. But uh, if you guys want to watch my testimony, you know, click one of the video links in the description below. But for the first time in my life, I truly feel as though I'm doing something for me. Um, I feel like I can speak for a lot of other creators, you know, we really don't get satisfaction doing this, you know? We have to get your guys' satisfaction. If you guys hate a video, we hate it. It could have been a video that we loved, but if you guys don't like it, then we hate it. We probably posted a video that we hate it, but then you guys love it, so we love it. So we dictate our emotions and stuff off how you guys are feeling that day. And in all honesty, man, that's not a way to live, bro. It's, it's really not a healthy way to live. And I was living like that every time i would post something every time i would do something every time i would say something i'm thinking in my head what is everybody else gonna think and for the first time i truly feel free i truly feel that i'm doing something for me and me alone and that's giving my life to christ because i know this will never fail me you know i know like my youtube channel you could get deleted Gideon? at any moment because like as a fan of his content and as a fan of the person and the man that he is out of respect for the man that I know and the person that he is and the person that I've had conversations with I feel like it's right to sit here and give him the opportunity to listen to what he has to say and listen to his reasoning and the changes that he's going through because Gideon is my friend you feel me so out of respect for my friend I want to hear what he's going through and what he's got going on and understand that you feel me type shit but Christ is never going to leave me as long as I hold on to him. He will always hold on to me. He'll never let go of me. He will never forsake us. So me giving my life right. back to Christ, I just feel whole again. Sometimes I will post a video and it would get 10 million views, be a one out of 10. But I would just be depressed for a week and just sleep in my bedroom and I would just feel empty. You know, even What's when up, things would go good, I would still feel empty, man. And I feel like that's a feeling that I wouldn't want to wish on anybody, you know, like I know a lot of you guys are inspiring YouTubers, you know, wanting to make it to my level or even higher to other creators levels. But I'm going to truly tell you, man, like this job isn't fulfilling like we make it out to seem, man. You know what I mean? And I'm really telling you guys, man, make sure you guys get your faith right. Make sure you get your guys faith in God. Because that's the only thing that will make you feel whole. Because this right here, it, it just won't do it. In Galatians 5, it talks about how we're supposed to nail our flesh to the cross. So if I'm going to nail my flesh to the cross and walk in the spirit, then I have to take on a new life. And I just What's up, can't be Jadeon anymore. <laughs> and I know the impact that the videos have had on you guys is astronomical i mean i know the videos give you guys confidence to be your guys self in public i know it helped you guys through the darkest times in your life and you know you guys can count on my videos to cheer you up whenever you know the world was just beating down on you but i'm gonna just be honest with you guys man my videos are just a band-aid you know my videos can't help solve your guys deeper problems and i'm so grateful that my videos were able to help put a band-aid over some of your guys wounds man but i want you guys to take the initiative and heal the wound itself to entirely heal, heal it because us as content creators we just can't do that man and we'll never be able to do that you feel me we can't fill that void for you guys and we can't always be there for you guys there's only one person that can always be there for y'all and that's jesus christ and as much gratification I got for helping you guys with depression and helping you guys truly be yourself, I have an even greater calling and motivation and inspiration to keep doing this and spreading the word of God because 
me giving my testimony, man, like I've had so many people message me, come up to me in public, talk about how they started to pick up their Bibles after seeing me testify about Jesus Christ, how they're going to give their life back to Jesus Christ. And I feel like if I'm going to be an influencer, I want to be an influencer to the right thing. Instead of you guys idolizing me, I want to point you guys in the direction on who to idolize, on who to follow, on who to worship. And that's Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone, because only he can make you whole again, man. I can't do that, man. And I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. No creator you guys watch can ever do that because we're men and women. We have bad days. We might say something that you guys don't like one day. You know, we might make a wrong decision one day. You feel me? You guys just can't trust us. There's only one person you guys can trust, and that's Jesus Christ. And Jesus told us, you know, the two greatest commandments was to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and to love your neighbor as yourself. And I love you guys so much, truly, that I want to dedicate my life to pointing you guys in the right direction. And if me having to live my life in accordance to Jesus can help some of you guys get the courage and the strength to live your lives according to Jesus, then, man, that's an easy decision because I want to see all of you guys in the kingdom of heaven. I really do. I love you all. Now, I do have self-awareness, you know, <laughs> and I do realize, you know, I have viewers that don't believe in Jesus, that, you know, believe in other religions. And I also know I have viewers that might not believe in anything. And to you guys, if this is our crossroad, if this is where we depart and we're no longer on the same road or the same path anymore, I just want to say to all you guys, thank you so much. I can say to you guys, my brothers and sisters too, man, because y'all invested your time, your energy to help me make the best content for you all. And don't ever See think that I took this for granted because uh, I, I never know. have and I never will. And I truly want to thank you. And, you know, if you guys ever see me out in public, man, bro, come up to me and give me a hug because I love you guys. And I just hope that you guys still stick around with me. But if this is the crossroad, then I wish you guys nothing but the best in your journey. And I pray that one day you do find Jesus Christ so that you can have this happiness that I do. But I still love you guys with all my heart. Bet, Dub. So I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, yeah, 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 you're yapping, you're yapping now. What are you going to be doing with the channel? And the answer is nothing. <laughs> this is going to be my last channel on Jadeon, man. Like, <laughs> I truly Lady feel Dub, like there's nothing else for me to do except for do the will of God and just point people in the right direction to follow Lady Jesus Dub, and just get straight. people to pick up their Bibles. And to read about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, man. And I'm done, you know, living my life lukewarm, you know, having my toe halfway in, halfway out. No, I just want to dive all the way in on the deep end of the pool and truly give my all like how I did for YouTube and to serving Jesus Christ and to helping you guys find him in the best way I possibly can. So although this is going to be my last video on this channel, I will be making a new channel. It's called Gideon. And uh, I know my Bible scholars out there probably already know who Gideon is. But when I was reading through the Bible with my pastor, I was looking at the etymology of my name, Gideon. And I saw that there was somebody in the Bible with a close name and his name was Gideon. And uh, his name means he who cuts down. And I truly feel that God put me on this earth to a cut down the lies that the devil is spreading that, you know, the world is better than God's love, man. You know, it's a lie. I know a lot of you guys would kill to have my life, man. But trust me, my life is nothing, nothing. No influencer, no celebrity. Life is nothing compared to the love of our God that he has for us in the eternal kingdom. It's nothing because he has everlasting life for us. Everything on this earth will perish one day. So if you guys want to see Christian content, it's going to be geared towards my youngins out there uh, because I know how hard it is for young Christians to navigate a world where it's really godless, you know, it's godless and it doesn't promote righteousness. It promotes unrighteousness. And I know the pure pressure gets to us, you know, it's not the cool thing to follow Jesus. It's not the uh, popular thing to be righteous and to be holy and to be set apart. It might not be the popular thing. It might not be the cool thing, but it's the right thing to do. And I want to help make videos to help you guys with y'all faith to really navigate these trying times, man, because 
it's getting bad out here y'all it really is so yeah man um <laughs> nigga in chat said them prime boy sent a black truck to that boy house that's not funny but i laughed on the inside that's not funny i'm not gonna lie i'm very happy for my man shitty on bro it is a brave adventure to stop what you're doing and focus your life on christ and i respect that as a man who once was very involved in the church, like deeply involved, like every fucking Wednesday Bible study, Fridays, testimony, whatever that shit, I forget what that shit was called. Saturday, Sunday, Sundays. I was in church two times on Sundays, bro. I'm happy for him and I'm glad that he's making this journey and undergoing this transformation. And I can't wait to see what you do. And Gideon, even if I'm not a reactionary viewer on your shit, I will still be somebody that supports you and the content that you make. Because not only as a creator, but as a person, I respect and admire you. So I'm happy for you, man. Continue to do what you got to do. And from all of us at Scum, we support what you're doing, man. I'm, I'm excited to see the journey you go. And I feel like you have a very big purpose coming in this life. And I can't wait for you to do that, man. I can't wait to see it, bro. Like You've changed the world as a prank YouTuber. And you're going to change the world as a Christian YouTuber. Mom's had me in choir. Unfortunately, I couldn't sing, but I did the plays and shit. 